Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make another chaffle. I absolutely love them. I've been playing around with it quite a bit and this one's going to be a low carb avocado chaffle. It's absolutely delicious and I know you're going to enjoy it if you like avocados. Okay, here's my avocado. It's nice and ripe and I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to just cut all the way around and then remove. Now this is what I normally do is I'll take oh that didn't come out all the way. There we go. So we'll dispose of that. Then I'm going to bring over a plate and all I do is I take my spoon and go around the edge. Or edge of the skin. Turn it upside down and we'll grab the other one. This avocado could have been a little bit riper but it's still gonna do the trick. There we go. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to chop this up and press it down with a fork to make it um, nice and mushy and almost like an egg salad. So I just like slicing them up a little bit. Just to make it easier for me to mash them. I'm just going to start mashing. Once I've got it all mashed, we're going to add the spices. So I'm so used to just taking my cumin spice and just sprinkling it on and deciding, you know, I'm happy with that and then I'll taste to see if that's what I like. Now I've measured out a teaspoon, but I'm not sure if I need the whole teaspoon. So I'm going to just mix it up in here. because I just normally just make them sprinkle happy and that's it. And for you, it, you kind of need measurements and that makes it harder. You know what? I'm using a whole teaspoon. And the same thing, my favorite spice which I've shown in so many videos. My Herbamere. I absolutely love Herbamere. It is delicious. And I normally sprinkle that on as well. So I've taken half a teaspoon and I'm going to, I didn't put it all on, I'm going to sprinkle it on. And I have to taste it. This is the only way I'm going to know. Okay, I would recommend less. I got a little too much in there. So that's how much I put in the, I, the half a teaspoon. I should put in a little less than that because I put too much in. It's a little salty. It'll still be good, but I would have put a little less in than that. Okay, so I whisked one egg and I have one tablespoon of almond flour. So we're going to mix that in. We'll get this all mixed in. And I also love my herbamere in this as well. So this I'm not going to measure. I'm going to just do, hopefully you can see this, a sprinkle. Just a sprinkle, just to give it that little extra that's needed to make this chaffle beautiful. All right, let's start putting it together and make our avocado chaffles. Okay, I've got my Dash um, mini waffle maker all ready to go. It's nice and hot. And I'm, I shred approximately 60 grams of 
marble cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you like. This is what I have in the house and this is what I use and I quite like it. So basically what you want is just you want a layer of, a light layer of cheese on the bottom of your waffle maker. You can see it's nice and hot. I don't spray my waffle maker. I did when I first started using it, but I just find that it um, doesn't need it anymore because there's a, when you clean it, you can't get all the grease off of it. Okay, so now I've got that on there. I'm going to put in my half of my my um, avocado mixture. Now I'm going to take, oh, I guess I gotta get a spoon here. My egg mixture. And we're just gonna lightly pour it over. Now, yep, I have overflowed. And hopefully I don't do it today. I'm sure you all have making chaffles. Just take your time. Just want enough egg around. See, you can see it's starting to sneak away on me here. Just a little wee bit more. Okay, so now I am going to add some more cheese on top because this gives it that crunchiness. which is really nice. A little tiny bit more here. Okay, we're going to put the lid down. I have paper towel underneath in case it does overflow, but we're just going to put the timer on for about four to five minutes. and we will let it steam and cook. Okay, it's been almost five minutes, so we're going to take it out and we'll make our second one. I love these. They're so good. Just gotta get in there to lift it up. There we go. There's our wonderful shuffle. Lovely. So I'll put that to cool and we're going to make another one. So same process. We're going to add in some of our cheese. Now, my girlfriend, when she makes hers, she buys the sliced cheese and then she cuts the corners to make it round and then she puts them in there. But I just find I don't need that much cheese. So now we're going to put in the avocado mixture. I've been nibbling on the avocado so there's not as much either. It's just so good. There we go. And now we're going to add in the egg mixture and just take your time so it doesn't overflow too much. I do find that I get the the grease from the egg or sorry from the cheese that um, drips along the side somewhat. And I always seem to have a little extra egg left so I just make a little Chaffle, chaffle with my leftovers. So now let's add in some of the cheese on the top. And it was almost five minutes that I had it in there. I'm putting a little extra cheese on here. There we go. Let's put her down and put the timer on.
Okay, here is my last one. It was just under or just over four minutes. We're going to lift it out. Lovely. Look at that. Just wonderful. Okay, we got to give it a try. Oh my goodness, these things are so good. This one I just took out and it's quite hot. So I think I'll eat the one that's cooled off a little bit. So you can kind of see the avocado more on one side than the other side. Mmm. So good. You see it in there? Mm-hmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, the size of avocado I used, it wasn't a really big one. See, I just have them emptied out here. So, you kind of saw it when I cut them out in the video, but I just wanted you to see basically the size that I used. And you need to be careful with the amount of herbamere and the cumin that you put into it. Um, I go by taste. I find that the best. So the measurement I gave you was approximate, but take it easy. Just take your time. Mm. Can you hear that crunch? Delicious. Really good. Here's my lunch. So, if you'd like to try this low-carb avocado chaffle, try some of my other recipes. Go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this one and try the other ones. And remember, down below I'll have the link for the Herbamere, which is an amazing product. And um, you, I just use it on everything. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.